when you're told that the world that you believed you were going to live in is no longer there, you have to either choose to curl up into a ball or act. And for better or worse, uh, Saunders described me as a golden retriever who sees a bright shiny object and runs at it. And this is a bright shiny object that I had to run at. My name is Brian Wallach. I am 38 years old. At the age of 37, I was diagnosed with AOS. I know you don't often hear from people with AOS in hearings like this. You don't, because we're diagnosed, we die. We were just over five minutes. My voice will be stronger tomorrow. That was a struggle to get through it. Being diagnosed with AOS today is a death sentence. There is no cure. I will not see my daughters grow up. Not because the AOS can't be cured, but because we've underfunded the fight against AOS year after year after year. After I was diagnosed, every doctor we saw said the same thing. I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Initially, we didn't know what to do, but then we realized that if the system won't help us, we have to remake the system. One thing that's so terrifying about the healthcare system today is that the power really doesn't sit with the patients. The idea that we could flip the script, it's really powerful for everyone who is living every day with a whole set of health issues that are not being addressed. If we cure ALS, we have the potential to cure Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, MS, and a litany of other diseases, because they're actually all connected. Most people don't know that. In fact, when I was diagnosed, I had no idea. What is so special about Brian and Sandra is that they realize you have to fight. What we're doing here is not that different from a political campaign. Once we realized that there were skills and friends we had that could have an impact and accelerate this work, there was no question about, do we sit on the sidelines or do we act? Everyone says you can't solve this thing. Can we figure out a way to prove them wrong? Can we actually do this? Is this insane? Why am I not just sitting at home with my kids right now? Nothing good is easy. This is not a movie. Our time is short. I don't think there's any test of the human spirit more telling than someone telling you you don't have a long time to live and responding in this way. Not saying this is something I'm going to get done before I die, but we're going to get this done and I'm going to live. We're going to get this done for everyone. So give me tomorrow and we can laugh at yesterday, but I won't pretend there ain't nothing wrong today. And I don't want to close my eyes on the progress that we made. But for every inch, there is a mile of mistakes. So go on. the way